Moving on, the Georgia State Representative Park Cannon has been released from jail after being arrested and charged with a felony for simply knocking on punk-ass Governor Ryan Kemp's door while he signed a nearly 100-page bill that only, and he only did it in the presence of only white men, didn't let anybody else in there when he did this. Uh, this changed voter requirements behind closed doors. Rep Cannon tweeted, I've been released from jail. I'm not the first Georgian to be arrested for fighting for voter suppression. I love to stay in the last, but we know that's not true. Are you surprised that Governor Kemp, who his whole entire campaign against Stacey Dash, oh, I said Stacey Dash, Stacey Abrams was all about voter suppression. Why? It's not even news. He's the poster child for voter suppression, Brian Kemp. What do y'all well, think about this? A, what's interesting in here is that uh, Governor Kemp has fought for her to be charged with two felony charges, one for obstruction and the other one for preventing General Assembly. Now, as you know, those come with a charge of up to five years, which is so interesting to me because when he voted for what happened at the obstruction on the Capitol, he wasn't as uh, aggressive, if you will, with the, the term of, of felony or what he's charging them with. In fact, he supported of only of 80% of the people that charged the Capitol of charging them only with trespassing. Well, I don't think it takes a lot of conversation to get to the, the finish line that Brian Kemp is, Governor Brian Kemp is a proven white sim, uh, supremacist uh, sympathizer. He, he, it's very clear that the energy he's had for Stacey Abrams and for this representative is very disgusting. And even after he was clowned to no end by Donald Trump and... Um, Kelly Loeffler, after she, he put her on, he continues to kiss the taint of the white supremacists and do their bidding. So I cannot wait in 2022 for, for the, the, the Georgians to come out and vote his ass out of office because now that we, we have a head start on knowing these suppression tactics, right. we're going to get it together. They, have, they are so organized and motivated in Georgia. And it ain't like 10 years ago. We know what's going on now. And we have a whole network of people. Stacey Abrams, is not to be played with. She did it once, she gonna do it again, and she's gone. You about to lose your job, right. Governor hey, Kemp. You know so he, he, better, he better build that $5 million fence that he's putting around the Capitol to protect him because just like the, we're having a protest tomorrow from my understanding in Atlanta around this, people are not gonna take his bullshit for much longer and definitely not in the state of Georgia. All right, moving on. Versus released their new battle lineup, and it includes two Evan Girl groups, Escape and SWV, are going to go head to head in the battle. I think Fox Soul had a little something to do with this. Let's check out this clip. Now, okay. So oh, SWV, yes. Escape has spoken. Yes. SWV, you have twenty four hours to. Oh my god! <laughs> twenty four hours to respond. I would like a cut because I set it in motion and I'm gonna go ahead and take credit for that. Now, what do you think about this? You think it's gonna break records? You think it's gonna I be think, up there? I think that this is gonna be an amazing versus. I think they're gonna do big numbers on this one. You know, this is an ultimate lineup. Both of these girl groups existed at the same time. You know, mm -hmm. Escape Candy is credited in saying that Escape never got the flowers and the roses that SWV got, although they existed at the same time. <clears throat> and I'm willing to go out on a limb and say Escape has just as many notable radio hits as does SWV. This is going to be a good lineup. This is going to be good 90s music. And I'm just rooting for all the 90s girls, Shanice, Deborah Cox, Brown Stone, all, um, Tracy Spencer, just all the girls to just rally around these girls and make this versus what it needs to be. This is going to be one for all the old season hoes like myself who make <laughs> bowls and butter beans and cornbread and who still wear a slip up under their dress. This for the grown women. Yes, God. Also, Trina wants to battle Little Kim and Timberland right, and Chris Brown. Line. Get off my line. Hello? The caller you was, the caller, you was calling is not receiving calls. <laughs> No, no, we're I'm not excited. doing it. I'm excited about the S. -U what about Chris Brown beating Usher? What do y'all think about that? Hmm. It would be a good battle. 
Um, who but, will beat who? But Chris Brown's that dude. But Usher got a lot of hits. They both Usher got hits. a lot of hits, but Chris Brown probably has double the amount. And here's the funny thing, because I'm an old school hoe, and all I do is dress and rest, because love don't <laughs> no more. But I'm actually an Usher. I'm actually like more with Usher because I'm old. But Chris Brown is just undeniable. Chris Brown is that dude. 